Hello, hello, my dear friends, and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. I do hope that you are all doing well. Okay, this is a, well, the messenger is here for you uh, reading as I'm in between doing the full moon in Virgo, uh, reading for each individual sign as we do go into tarot and a bit of the astrology so that you know uh, in which area of life things are playing out for you with this full moon in Virgo that's going to uh, take place on the 18th of March. So do join me there. Look out for that. Please make sure that you are being notified in relation to uh, the notification. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you are receiving the notifications as many are not. One lady actually said to me that she was not receiving any notification. She couldn't see any of my uploads since December of 2021. So it's a funny game that is going on. That's so, so Neptunian, Neptune and Jupiter. There's so much deception and so many lies and a lack of clarity and illusions uh, right now, dear friends. We don't really know what's real and what is not. Okay, so it's like we're living in a huge dream. That Virgo full moon will help us to ground ourselves. Let's see what's going on. What is the message pertaining to roughly around the 16th of March of 2022? Thank you, dear spirit. And we're just around the corner from the uh, spring equinox. What are the energies that are playing out? King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Two of Swords, a decision, a decision between two divine masculine figures here, energies. Well, the King of Cups would be more Scorpio, could be the same person, uh, someone um, battling, you know, their, uh, their work with their heart or what they desire, their sexual side to their emotional side. There's a dilemma here, okay? There is a, a major dilemma. This is either, you know, someone that's up in the air about what they need to do, how to move forward, pertaining to what they desire and pertaining to what they love, okay? And we've got a Divine Feminine Queen of Pentacles, a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, very motherly. We know the King of Wands could be a leader, someone that is a boss, a CEO, an entrepreneur, someone that's coming through as very, um, very sexual, very uh, much of a leader. We see Leo above his head, so he's thinking on, of whether to take action towards what he desires, whether he can trust. Uh, he's trying to control himself hold himself back from communicating matters of heart, matters of wants, needs, uh, what, what, is, uh, what, is, what is it that they love. Um, someone choosing between business and matters of heart. And again, this could be two different people. It could be that this Queen of Pentacles has got a choice between two divine masculine. There's conflict here. And someone is holding back. Four of Pentacles. There's a lot at play here. It could be relating to conflict from within or other people being involved. It could be in relation to family, to a project, some some type of a project relating to work. Uh, the dilemma could be: uh, Do I need to? Do I need to uh, take action and communicate uh, from the heart? Uh, or do I need to look at my uh, my money, my pentacles? Because this is sort of what's at stake here. Four of pentacles, this is someone's security or insecurity, we could say. So there's a lot of conflict and a very big dilemma. Someone's not ready to take that leap of faith. Six of cups and temperance. We've got two cards of balance. We see the five of wands. This is putting effort moving forward. This is a sense of imbalance and conflict and um, havoc and indecisiveness here. Six of Cups. 
this is in relation to an offer this is in relation to a soulmate connection there's children in the picture here this is a kind of nostalgia looking back at the past uh, have someone's been waiting obviously for divine timing temperance is a card of healing that someone needs to go through um, because there's been a lot of dilemmas and imbalances here temperance again is someone holding themselves back waiting for that right time where they'll feel more emotionally balanced uh, financially balanced there's a, a sense of danger or insecurities pertaining to someone's money their their home people that are around them okay now we know the queen of pentacles very motherly and we've got the children here as well so this queen of pentacles is not maybe uncertain about which which way to go and is having a maybe also a very difficult time in making a decision there's a lot going on in her mind pertaining to the past and to the uh, maybe now this is obviously the, uh, a reading for now but stemming from the past it's got a lot to do with passion desires and heartfelt creative energies but also in the mix in the story is finances uh, security being grounded seeing something as very practical and I usually see the Queen of Pentacles, she's the minor arcana of the Empress. So someone that is very nurturing, loving and providing towards others. That's why there's a lot at stake here. So being conflicted. Now the Temperance card could also speak to someone that's at a distance. It's Sagittarius. It could speak to someone's beliefs. Someone going through a purging process. They're at the fore of great changes. South Node is now in Scorpio. It's moved from Sagittarius to Scorpio. It's a cutting edge decision that needs to be made. So the uh, the thing is here that where, where this Queen of Pentacles has been, there's been imbalances. We see that with a Five of Wands. But she's also been conflicted about what is more important to her the ability to provide for those that she loves or move towards what it is that she desires temperance remember is a card of healing so obviously there's been a lot of pain here there's been temperance does come after the death card so there's been a, a huge transformation or something that's very deep and hidden that could be coming up to the surface, something that's been withheld pertaining to someone's decision, making a decision, trying to find their footing, trying to get more secure and balanced, also pertaining to their beliefs, their upbringing, their, their truth. We've got the High Priestess, so High Priestess is uh, Pisces, Pisces Virgo, and this is this full moon is happening on the axis Pisces and Virgo. What's going on, particularly in love? Move. Someone's halfway there, getting ready to move. Um, cancer. So this is the chariot, and the chariot does speak to taking action, moving forward, um, overcoming any obstacles, a change of home, residence, country maybe also, turning a difficult, challenging corner. Sevens are conflict, but they're also very spiritual. Moving on. Someone is ready, is ready to move on emotionally, physically. Eight of Cups, right? They haven't found their happiness. And this is a move maybe that they've been, uh, they've had a very heavy dilemma about making. There is the star, so Aquarius energy, the lovers. This could also speak to uh, communication through social media. The High Priestess is usually a third person. It's also a secretive relationship. Uh, the lovers, of course, Gemini, difficulty in making decisions. It's all about the thought, the, the thought process. 
uh, someone's cerebral difficulty in moving on, difficulty in receiving also truth pertaining to social media, messaging. There's a lot that's at stake here. The Empress does speak to someone's financial, emotional happiness, right? Uh, we've got Libra and Taurus and the Page of Pentacles, something promised pertaining to the past. And the page could also be, yes, a messenger, but also a child, childish energies, uh, youthful, a youthful, maybe also situation, a decision. Remember, pages are very fresh energies. It is pertaining to something long term, something that's being studied, looked at. But we know the star is also a, a wish fulfillment that could be at a physical, timely distance. Right? What's beneath the page of pentacles? We've got the three of wands. So it does relate to something or a, a someone that's at a physical distance. Three of wands. Uh, we've also got the empress, which is a three. The lovers, number six. Uh, three is all about expansion and growth. But remember, I always see the Three of Wands. It is Sagittarian energy, but it's also someone waiting on their ships to come in. Uh, but there's a lot of planning and someone's waiting on the manifestation of some sort of a dream pertaining to a very strong partnership relationship that could be physically distant. The star does speak to hope. Someone's been hoping for uh, that maybe also a secretive connection a love affair maybe uh someone was a third person here hoping that hoping and wishing that what they've be, they've imagined and dreamed of can become practical become real moving on moving on and awaiting results a card just fell out awaiting results is another seven seven of pentacles moving on but there's like a blockage it's a blockage here waiting to move on waiting for something to grow a seed that's been planted in the past waiting on another person we've got the emperor this empress i'm going to say which is also here the queen of pentacles has been waiting on action or a decision from the emperor to take lead to take lead in their lives a possible ability to provide security we've got the four of pentacles here as well the emperor can be any sign of course it's aries it could be uh talking about the aries season after the uh, equinox right um also in this deck i see the emperor as being I don't know, having strong Gemini energies, which obviously is uh, there's difficulties in making a decision, fighting between their, their passion, their desires, their vocation, what they do, their business and their heart. Waiting for this emperor to detach, to set themselves free. The emperor's been waiting for a portal to open, to have the ability to detach, waiting for some sort of a decision pertaining to legalities um, there could be conflict pertaining to a, a home a family uh, connected with children we've got two major three major arcana here and we've got success and growth the eight of wands so lots of messages the ability to uh, take flight to take action to send out those messages to fly to a destination a desired destination a lot of uh instead of being stuck now it's all about moving forward right after having been through a cycle over and over again the eight the infinity symbol and someone is ready to reach out this is like help here that's how i see this woman is it's like she's been protected supported lifted right someone is reaching out another three after there has been a difficult confrontation someone's looking at their shadow side there's been a lot of secrecy right the moon this will take place after this full moon 
and someone's been going through illegalities, divorce, separation, a lack of equal giving and receiving. There's been, someone's been dealing with karmic matters. It could be that they're paying their dues. Or someone's going through divorce and paying out money, child support. There is a 21, the mountain. This is like the ending of a steep climb, ending as something pertaining to karma, a major cycle, closing. A resolution is here, the key, and the stars. There is a lot of promise and hope here that this could speak to a new a new home as well. The key, moving to a new home, somewhere, somewhere at a distance. This is communication. I mean, this is one of the happiest cards, the star card, right? And it comes uh, as a tower moment. That's how I see the star. It's Neptune in Pisces. The information will come through during the night. There is hope, inspiration, there's optimism here, and this is a key to progressing towards someone's goals. And another three, my friends, another three, the ship. This is Jupiter in Sagittarius, the, the energy of Jupiter and Neptune um, and the sun moving through Pisces. Remember also that... Uh, the ruling planet of this full moon, Mercury, is in Pisces as well. So there can be a lot of confusion. But as uh, Mercury is coming up to Jupiter, we will see what's been hidden. We will see what we were confused about. We will see that those rose-colored glasses are coming off. And it's pertaining to a past connection. There's been... Uh, a, a, some se sense of a blockage someone's needed to end something pertaining to the past a major cycle that was very challenging which had a lot of doubts limitations uh, dilemmas that they were dealing with Archangel Michael promises a lot here a lot of changes as well and it's all happening in divine timing Temperance says uh, the timing is here. It's just around the corner. For some of you, this is when, uh, this will be when Jupiter enters Aries, which is not very far off. We're talking about April, April, May, with the eclipses there, a lot will be changing. And we've got the Magician. So the Magician is an ace. It's a lot of communication, it's empowerment, it's being provided with the tools to make the magic. And I usually see the magician in this deck as the hermit, which is that full moon in Virgo. You could see here, he looks like someone that's very wise, right? He's got the ability to see through the fog, to communicate clearly to take action and bring in magic. The magician does bring in the magic. Now, some of you may be dealing with someone that was quite deceptive. You'll have the ability to discern with this full moon in a Virgo. Some of you are going to... Uh, be also invited maybe to travel to visit to move you're moving over water over through a lot of emotions okay and the, the ship speaks to an adventure to a journey a new journey that opens it could be at a distance and it can also speak to a farewell saying goodbye to something that was blocking us with that mountain we have a bad health. We have a message of concern. So we've got a four and a five here. And we've got the coffin here. So whatever was bad and um, concerning is going through a death. So
So something is ending. Someone has been dealing also maybe with a physical death here. We've got someone that is in not good health. So a lot of us, many of us could be finding this out. We've got great fortune. This death and uh, the ability to clean out the closet. A death of a cycle. A restricting emotional psychological ending of a cycle brings very positive changes with this great fortune oh my god we've got the uh, imprisonment which remember the key the key we've got a lock here someone felt very uh, imprisoned by their thoughts maybe by legalities we've got detach on the 11 and this is an 11 card someone is detaching making a decision which is them finding the key to this great fortune so communication could also be the key and we've got the false person here the eight being able to see beyond that veil dear friends that mask is coming off as long as we detach from those fears that we've had that have been holding us back high honors and privileged ladies so it's got a lot to do with um, detaching this cycle this end of the astrological year this cycle is ending and we are clearing out we're finding the solution and whatever we are closing up is opening up a new chapter in our lives pertaining to abundance whatever we've dreamed of we've got the ability to manifest but that clearing out of that virgo full moon has to take place and because uh neptune is right across that's where the sun is there's a sense of urgency as the sun will end its cycle and come into that zero degrees those that will not end that cycle that imprisoning um elusive uh deceptive fear-based subconscious dreamy like energy they will not have the power to move forward if you we if we do not close that door if we do not shut on that door on those fears of feeling imprisoned whatever that is for you then you will not be able to move into that new chapter of abundance this is what it's all about. So there is a sense of urgency and over, overcoming that impression of the door is locked, the boundaries are up. Pisces is there are no boundaries. It's your illusion. But the advice is to detach, to get grounded, to start doing the work it's it's duty it's work it's multitasking that's virgo and it's also pertaining to health psychological and physical health the fear of that the fear of death the fear of ending what happens after that well what happens after that is that the will of fortune here the uh the great fortune is changes this is jupiter which will give you the truth. Can you handle the truth? Because the privileged lady is very similar to the empress for me. And this is obviously a 12, which is Pisces, ending that cycle so that she could reap the rewards of her sacrifices. And we've got a divine masculine, very much about their thoughts, creating something a tower moment thinking very much about a divine feminine courtship the beginning of a relationship getting to know each other um risking taking a risk it's a four the four of pentacles is here this divine masculine was not willing to risk 
situations in their life for this courtship, for the beginning of this situation, this relationship. And this does speak to newness. It's like getting to know each other from the beginning, even if this is a long standing relationship. Maybe it was through the internet, maybe it was through social media, maybe it was something that was in our mind, in our in our periphery, but never really uh, real in a sense. Now, Virgo is giving us that reality. Main male, toil and labor, a lot of heaviness with the main male in this reading um, and marriage. So someone being in a marriage where it was very laborious, but we've got the ability here for something new to manifest, my dear friends. Let's take a couple of love messages. Uh, before that, I want to take an energy oracle. So, the 16th of March. 16th of March, dear spirit. What do we need to know? What is the message? We've got community and this was in the reverse and it's another seven. So the community reminds me very much of the Three of Cups. Could speak to a reconciliation that has been blocked that or there were other people in the picture. Right, number seven. Let's read the reversed message. This card reversed indicates feelings of isolation and perhaps loneliness. There may have been a recent disconnect with old associations or even a dissolution of some wider uh, partnership. This may result in feelings of loss and grief, but take heart. It is often the case that as you shift your energy into a higher vibration, you may find that you no longer resonate with old acquaintances the way you used to. If that is the case, it may be time to move on to more resonant associates. Let yourself network in ways that reflect your higher intentions. Meditation groups, classes, book clubs and the like are all places you may meet new acquaintances that are in closer harmony to you. You needn't allow your isolation to continue. It may take some conscious effort on your part, but now is the time to reconnect, re uh, network and gain the sense of support that you are looking for. And the support could come obviously from people that you do feel are your uh, those people who are there to guide you, to help you, to help you, to people that you can reach out to. This is people that are truly your community. And maybe there's been a dissolution or deception or not seeing things clearly. Okay, and I see this very often as the Three of Cups. So possibly there could be a reconnect as well with old acquaintances. Um, and because we've had quite a few threes and quite a few sevens, seven remember is, it is conflict, but it is the chariot. It's like, um, not being scattered, not feeling scattered, even though we're turning a difficult corner. We're not scattered. We, we've got the ability to move forward, but also to move on from those groups and associations that did not hold our um, highest good. Let's see what's going on in love. Let's elope. Let's try again. I love you. I'm not in love with you. I have to be honest with you. That's interesting. Why is someone wanting to elope? And we've got, I do apologize, but I'm married. I know I lied, but now you know. I'm now awakened. Now I see clearly you are the one for me. Another seven here. I have so much on my plate. I don't know if I can offer you anything. I have been through a lot. And I was wrong to doubt your love, babe. I apologize. And another seven here. So we've got 14, 15, 
20, 29, 32, which equals a five, and that is the Hierophant, Taurus, North Node. We are following our North Node, dear friends. We are obviously fe feeling quite uncomfortable, but where there's been no value, no sense of security, and someone maybe was doubting you and your worth, you are checking out of that relationship. Here we do speak to someone that is married. Uh, obviously, it's a love triangle for many of you. Uh, it's a secretive connection for many of you. Now, maybe it was family uh, that was restricting this connection. Let's elope. Uh, let's try again. So you're revisiting a situation. There's been a lot of doubt, but someone has gone through their awakening. And many times um, the, com the community card did speak to a lot of loneliness. And this full moon in Virgo, which is the hermit, right? The hermit is the Virgo archetype energy. Someone has been feeling very lonely, maybe in a marriage. That's why they stepped out and had an affair. The information came through, the, the, um, the secrecy has come up, right? It's been looked at, that's what's playing out now, maybe. And obviously there's a lot, a lot going on. I have so much on my plate. I don't know if I can handle it right now, but also the doubts, the doubts, right? The someone believing that the other party was very deceiving and there's an apology due here. What's at the bottom here? I'm married. I lied to you. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Look at the similarity here. There's a lot of conflict and a lot that is being showcased, but and where there has been deception, obviously, there's a cutting of the cord, the ending, right? Pisces is also the last sign of the zodiac. This is the house of love affairs. Uh, someone being stuck in a unhealthy, um, restricting marriage. Uh, also, if not a marriage, then it was some sort of a contract, something that was a, a heavy cycle in their life that were that they were blocked, feeling blocked and imprisoned in. But with Jupiter there now in Pisces, Jupiter can speak to a segregation, cutting away that Ace of Swords comes to my mind. Beneath a tree, we've got the Fox, which does speak to secrecy, deception, the thief, pertaining to a home. We've also got the lily here, which speaks to a spiritual connection, a very strong sexual connection as well. But uh, has someone been ethical pertaining to a commitment, a marriage? It looks like no, because of a long-standing past life connection as well. A lot of communication, but not clear. We've got the clouds here. Unclear communication. A lot of secrecy. Also pertaining to what's going on in someone's home and their family. Someone be dealing with a very, uh, a, for quite some time, a Saturnian uh, cycle in their life, which maybe they have not communicated to you. And it is in relation to a child and something that pertaining to one's duties a marriage, commitments, which uh, 11, again, the uh, the whip here, which uh, someone's been, uh, someone's gone through a lot of difficulties because of a child. Some sort of a karmic cycle pertaining to a marriage, a contract, uh, someone being split between their heart and their obligations and their financial securities. They're going through a transformation. It's a very dreamy-like and very um, uh, secretive thing that's going on pertaining to them holding back on their truth, uh, not communicating. 
also the fact that they feel a very strong connection to a magical uh, connection, which they feel also is very much very familiar to them. Right, so uh, I'm now awakened. Now I see clearly you are the one for me. Someone's seen that and they're not communicating it, but they're dealing with a lot. And here, there's a there's great promise, dear friends. So with that, I think I will leave you. I want to thank you so much for joining me here. Um, this this uh, full moon reading pertaining to the tarot and astrology that I'm doing for each individual uh, sign is going to be a long reading so just be patient with me today is Wednesday so we won't be doing a twin flame soulmate a reading um, because we're not able to more than likely we'll be doing that uh, Wednesday twin flame soulmate reading with the personalized messages more than likely next Wednesday so look out for that Again, I'm going to say, make sure you are subscribed, you are being notified, okay? There's a lot of shadow banning. My my videos are not being, you're not being notified of the uploads. Check that you are being notified. And uh, last but not least, please remember that the energy is right now. We've got... Uh, Two lots of energies, very difficult energies with uh, Venus and Mars uh, coming up to Saturn in Aquarius, right? And also the magic obviously comes from Pisces, but that can also speak to a lot of illusion and a lot of deception. It can go either way. So, my dear friends, love and light. Talk to you soon. Love you so. Ta-da.